Hi guys, today we're going to go ahead and do a quick unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra, the phone I wanted to get. Let's go ahead and take a look. Okay guys, I've got the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. This is the unlocked US model. This year I've decided to go with the US unlocked model. So this is the SMG988UZ model. Anything that ends after the number in U means it's a US model. Also, this phone is made in Korea, which is really nice. I got this straight from Samsung.com. The unlocked version is the one I recommend because you'll be able to use it on all of the AT&T T-Mobile Sprint Verizon networks. Also, the 5G and the 4G LTE will be fully compatible. All right, here we go. And boom shakalaka, baby. Here is the Galaxy S20 Ultra 5G. Um, the reason I got the big... Wow, that thing is huge. <laughs> that, that thing is... That is pretty ugly, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry I just got this phone, but this is the first time I actually looked at a real version of it. I do have a model, which I've been looking at, and it didn't really hit me because the colors... Um, the model one is all black. Actually, the model one's actually exactly right on, except for the camera placement, you can see. It looks super huge, and it does say Space Zoom 100x, which is basically digital 10x zoom on top of the 10x optical zoom. Um, it's just Samsung's marketing, but... That is the most ugliest camera hump I've seen. <laughs> now, once you put on a case, I think it'll be fine. Um, let me take this wrappers off for you. Now, Schnell Cases sent me a bunch of cases. I'm gonna have a bunch of reviews on it. Now, I think it's gonna be perfect for people who use a case. So let me actually just put this one on real quick. And the camera hump is pretty much gone. So that's kind of nice. Um, but I do wish Samsung got rid of this ugly hump. That's just way too much. And this is the first time actually holding a real Galaxy S20 Ultra. And I didn't know it was that bad. Maybe I should have got the Plus. Or the regular one. The hump is almost non-existent on the regular S20. So yeah, just know that when you get the S20 Ultra, you're gonna also come with an Ultra hump. Now, one thing to note is I can see the camera. Wow, that thing is huge in there. Oh my God, can you see the huge, can you see the huge lens in there? So obviously the camera hump is there to house a bigger camera lens. I guess it's not a bad thing. Let's go look at some of this stuff. Um, there's nothing on the left side. I really like how Samsung got rid of the Bixby key. Um, since the Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Now, make sure to take these wrappers off. A lot of people will leave them on the whole year. And on the bottom, you'll find USB Type-C, microphone, speaker, right speaker on the bottom side. On the right side, you got two volume buttons, power key, looking pretty good. Let's actually go look at back at the camera module. It's amazing. It's got three cameras, and I think that's the TOF um, depth, depth sensor, actually. Right, pretty massive phone. Let me see if it even balances in the center. It still balances in the center. Wow, so that's kind of cool. Make sure you guys take the screen protector off. All right, this is not even a good one anyway. I don't think it's actually, it just, I think you're supposed to take it off anyway. All right, as far as the design, I'm just gonna be straight up. Nothing has changed in the last like three or four years. Samsung has not changed their design in the last three, four years. Something like that. Other than the size and bigger hump, Samsung has done nothing to the design. It's a good design. I'm just saying they have done nothing for the last few years. It's literally the same phone. Maybe slightly different button placement, maybe slightly bigger, maybe slightly different camera placement, maybe ultra big hump. But literally this phone design has not changed in the last few years. So I'm not gonna talk about it. It's a good design, but I don't know. Sometimes maybe it's time for a change. Okay, so let me show you what's in the rest of the box. We've got super fast charging. It's not quick charge anymore, it's super fast charging. Um, so you got a USB Type-C, it may be faster. Let's go and look at the specs here. Um, the way you look at the adapter is the amps and the, 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 the volts. And you multiply the amps by volts. You find the largest uh, numbers there, so you got uh, 5 volts at 3 amps, that's 15 watts. 9 volts at 2.77 amps. Let's look at the biggest one. Um, you got 11 volts at 2.25 amps. So that's about 22.5 watts. 
Now, I'm actually not sure the new Samsung Galaxy S20 supports USB Type-C PD. USB PD, if the phone does support it, you can go up to like 50, 60 watts, or even 100 watts if they built it that way. So what really matters is Samsung specs on the USB Type-C PD. If this supports whatever the maximum the phone supports, you can actually charge at that rate. But as far as this charger goes, um, this charger is only rated up to about 25 watts. Usually the phone chargers are rated usually like 18 watts. This one's around 20 to 23 watts. But if the phone does support it, you can grab your like laptop charger that's USB type CPD. Those usually are 60 watts or higher, like your MacBooks are all 100 watts. Then you can plug it in and, and charge it faster. If this phone supports USB type CPD, now I'm not sure on that. It just says super fast charging and that's just their marketing term and it doesn't actually say on the box or anything. So I can, I'll can i probably Google it after the unboxing. Sorry, I got lazy, but you can Google it for me. You got some nice earbuds. Um, really like these AK earbuds uh, with USB type C. Ooh. I don't know why Samsung backed up on their own words. They literally ate up their own words. They said two years ago, Samsung was always like making these ads, making fun of Apple saying, oh, you can use headphones on our phone. And now they went back on their word, got rid of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. There's absolutely no reason to, not because of design, it's all BS. They just wanna make more money. Now they're selling their Bluetooth earbuds, the Galaxy Buds. I actually ordered the new ones, so I'll have a comparison. The truth about Samsung getting rid of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack is that they want to make more money. The company's getting bigger, they charge more for their phones, they get rid of the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, they see Apple doing it, they're like, oh, we'll do whatever the Apple does. And now, you have to go buy Galaxy Buds. <laughs> they want to sell more Galaxy Buds. They don't care about you. They want to make money. That's fine, you can make money and be a good guy like LG. I really still love LG that they're not so evil about just making money only. They want to make customers happy. But this is one of the things that's going to make you want to switch to LG. Especially when Samsung was all about headphone jack. There is also a USB type C to C cable. All right, now also another thing. Most of these that come with it, they're only rated for 18 watts or 20 watts. Uh, most likely this is this thickness seems like maybe 25 watts, just enough for this charger. If you do get a charger that's rated higher, you do also have to get cables that are rated higher. Otherwise, you'll be limited still to like 18 watts, 20 watts. Wow, this year there's no... There's nothing else in there. There's no quick start guide. Oh, there is a quick start guide in here. So guys, there is a quick start guide that's hiding in here. You got the SIM card tray tool. Uh, no case this year, just a quick start guide. I'm not gonna even open it. <laughs> Cause I'm an expert. Uh, let's go ahead and power on this bad boy. Oh yeah, look at that size. Let me go ahead and show you a size comparison between my Galaxy Note 10 Plus and there's my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. And you can see the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is still much bigger device. It's much, much wider. Is that much wider? Let's wait till the screen comes on. Let's get started. Let me help you get. The first thing I'll do is turn off that annoying. Let's get dirty, dude. All right. No. Um, so the Galaxy Note 10 Plus is still wider phone. The S20 Ultra now is slightly longer. So probably around the same display size, overall screen real estate, but obviously slightly longer phone. Uh, as far as the curves, you know Samsung has got rid of the curved screen, which I really like. You can already notice there's less glare. You can see the glare just glaring on the side. Sorry, maybe you can see it better. There's almost zero glare. In comparison, there's almost zero glare. This is actually a flat screen this year, just a curved glass, right? Not the actual screen. Oh, Greg's calling me. Um, I'll call you back, bro. All right, let's go ahead and sign in real quick. Let's go through the rhythm. So for protection, we got face recognition, fingerprint pattern. 
Um, let's go with the fingerprints. We love the fingerprints. All right, let's go ahead and check out the fingerprint sensor. Let's see how long it takes. Okay, quite a long time here. I am still a hater of the new on-screen fingerprint sensor. I don't like it. It just totally takes longer. I'd rather have it in the back. I don't know why people want this one in the front. Okay, let me go ahead and pop my SIM card in there and see if I get 5G. I mean, obviously, I don't have 5G. I don't think T-Mobile has 5G yet, but... Like I said, this is an unlocked version, so you can use it on any network, which is great. And you don't have to unlock your phone. You can also unlock any carrier branded Samsung phone to use another carrier. But sometimes it's hard to get it unlocked. Sometimes um, it's impossible to get the unlock code. Oh, well, usually you can, but... Okay, so I've got my SIM card in there. It's immediately rebooting. Now, the first thing you guys should do is absolutely protect your phone. Lately, I've been doing a lot of um, skateboarding, as you guys know. So I'm gonna go ahead and use uh, one of these Schnell cases. This is probably the best protection you can get for your phone. Really love it. I really love the colors. I'm gonna put it on right away. Especially if you don't get uh, phone insurance like myself, make sure you use a case right away. These things are these are these things are gonna break. Especially look at how huge that camera module is. You're gonna need some serious protection. So get the new Chanel cases. This one's a one layer case. I'm gonna review them all by the way. Um, but you can get this on Amazon. My friend Carl makes these. And I really love these because I've had them on my Pixel 4 and I'm going on my electric skateboard at 30 miles per hour. Drop my phone and boom, it saves my phone. It saves the day. This is sort of a medium protection. If you want the ultimate protection, I would go with uh, the, the, the tough one. And this case has saved me so many times. Protect your investment, why not? It's so easy to install. Oh, wrong size. That's the wrong one, sorry. Sorry, that one's for the S20 Plus. Make sure you guys get a case. I would love to use it naked, but Samsung phones are damn slippery. They're like buttery smooth. I mean, even my Galaxy Note 10 Plus. Um, if you don't want to use a thick case, just get a super thin case like this. Even like a little bit of this, this will help you hold it. But just holding it with the glass, oh, it's so slippery. It's just asking for it, man. But if you have a ton of money and, and you're a billionaire, millionaire, um, then be my guest. But look at that. Oh, look at that awesome protection. All right, and you don't have to leave it on all the time. Um, if you want to take it off, just take it off. But having a case also helps you prevent hitting that camera module there. So less wiping. Okay, today, obviously, it's just an unboxing, so I'm not going to go over everything. I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys the camera real quick or check out the camera myself. Let's go ahead and check out a selfie. So you got wide angle and regular. It's one camera, but I think it's two. Let's see how, how, how that compares to the Note 10 Plus. Note 10 Plus, it's about the same. Maybe like a tiny bit wider. I would say it's just about, it's literally like the same camera. Yeah, it's, it's like the literally said the same camera. Okay, I'm pretty sure nothing has really changed for the front camera. But let me go ahead and check out the back camera real quick. You got regular, you got wide angle, and you have a 5X. It won't focus close though. Let me, let me actually go ahead and try over there. So I think up to 10X is optical, but wow, the quality is not that great. I'm actually a little disappointed. So you have an option 10x, 30x, 100x. Obviously, this is not going to work close up. It's for really just sort of far away. I'll have to definitely test it out. Obviously, I just got this phone, so I really can't tell you my um, opinions. But let's go ahead and check out the video real quick, since that's one of my favorite things to do. So rear video, you can do 8K, which is really nice. I just want to do a quick comparison because let's say, so in 8K, 
Oh, crap. So in the AK, you can only use a main camera. I think. And you have digital zoom. I'm not sure how that compares. But no, no wide angle for AK. All right, that's sort of interesting. Uh, for front camera, you can do up to 4K 60 frames per second. All right, so that's something new this year. It's not focusing for some reason. Did I get rid of the front point facing focus? Oh my god, it's not focusing. Maybe it'll, it'll fix it with the updates. Let me try uh, just regular 4K. That's weird. I hope they, I hope they fix it with the uh, so, uh, software. Look, it won't focus. It won't focus close. Oh, now it does. Oh, okay, now it does. Oh, thank God. But it's, it's a little slow. It might be because of the lights I have here. Okay, it's, it should be working fine. So far, I'm not completely satisfied. So I'll definitely play with this. I'll have a bunch of different reviews, maybe like, you know, a few days after a review, and then like a week after a review, maybe a month later review. It looks pretty decent, but it, it does seem a little expensive, $1,500 that I pay for it. Um. I don't know. I don't know if it was worth that much. <laughs> so we'll find out. But stay tuned if you want to see all my reviews on this phone. Yeah, definitely stay tuned. Have a great day. Hit the subscribe. Hit the like. Hit the share. I've also just built my own um, boosted board that's better, faster, and lighter. I'll have a video on that too. Have a great day. And as always, stay. <laughs>